All right, Gary, we don't get to do this every day, but nope. we're gonna take a drive in a 1967 Shelby Mustang GT500. Woohoo! yeah. This was One just- rare beast. This was just a Mustang with a big motor back in the day, but now it's like a piece of art and investment and you name it. Oh yeah. Hard to get them. Dual quad too. Yep. So this particular car has 31,000, what does it say over there? 30,958 miles. The original miles. Uh, it has been restored though, and the motor's been gone through uh, recently, and it's yep. got a dyno sheet, about 400 horsepower. Yeah, but it's, trans has been done too. Yep, it's got a C6 rebuilt trans, it's got a positive traction differential, all the stuff Shelby's supposed to have. And uh, I mean, this one's a really nice one. It's a California car since new. It was purchased in Long Beach. We got optional gauges down there. Yep. Yeah, that's cool. What's that, the tack? Yeah, tack. No, that's here. pressure that's there. That's oil pressure, buddy. That's cool, man. AM radio, and of course, the Shelby factory roll bar yep. with, with the fire extinguisher. Tracks. You don't want the thing to catch fire on you. Yeah. This is an early 67, so it's got the steel frame fiberglass hood and trunk. Um, that's kind of rare, I hear. Yep. I'm learning every day on these things, too. Um, this one's got some. Uh, 427 heads on it because in California back then you had to smog these cars. So uh, we have the original cylinder heads though with the air injection ports. Those yep. are redone too, wrapped in plastic. You want to save all that stuff when you have a classic car like this. It's a runner. Yeah. That's nah, a pretty sweet car, man. Good old, good old fashioned horsepower. That's right. <clears throat> well, it's a Mustang. Of course it's horsepower. It's a Mustang. <laughs> of course. It's got the uh, it's got some Shelby wheels on there. Uh, ten with, spokers with ten spokes with the BF Goodrich uh, TA radials on there for drivability. Um, we have another set available if you wanted those instead. Uh, I think they're the, the chrome ones with the little bias ply tires on there that are unsafe in a car like this. Yeah. All right, we're gonna pull up here and take some pictures of this bad boy. All right, here's a rare opportunity to have a Shelby in your collection for all you serious car collectors out there. It's a 1967 GT500 Shelby Mustang. Uh, dark moss green, uh, metallic, beautiful color, original color for this car. Uh, black interior. It's amazing interior. The driver's seat in the front half of the carpet is the only thing that's been replaced since the car was new. It has 30,900 original miles on it. Um, it has been gone through though because it sat for years, so the engine's been rebuilt, the trans has been freshened up, differential, just anything it really needed. Um, it's been painted, so somebody kind of kept this car up and, and it was a collector that owned it and uh, decided to move on. It's getting older in the years. Beautiful car though. Uh, the early 67 had a steel frame, fiberglass hood and trunk. That's kind of rare I guess on these. And uh, of course there's the center headlights. Even that custom plate that says 67500, that's kind of cool. For California at least if you live here. But this car was bought brand new in Long Beach. We've got the window sticker, the Shelby uh, uh, purchase order. Uh, it's in the registry. So everything you're supposed to do with these uh, Shelbys to, to add value, this one's got it. Rust-free car, um, never been smashed. I mean, a lot of these cars were raced and beat on and engines changed and that's, uh, that's and those are worth some money. So this is one's pretty special because it hasn't been messed with. Original AM radio, factory gauges, even that original Shelby steering wheel, that's probably worth a bundle if you had to buy one. Of course, the factory roll bar. But this interior, as I mentioned, is original, except for the seat cushion on the driver's side. Dash is in nice condition. Door panels are real nice. Even got the Shelby door sills. Beautiful collector car here. All right, here's the power plant in the Shelby GT500. Uh, that right there is a 428 cubic inch big block Ford. The original one for this car too. Uh, it was rebuilt by a, a local company here called QMP. Did a wonderful job on it, runs fantastic. Uh, it's got some expensive correct carburetors on there, dual quads. Even has the right Shelby distributor, uh, or the one they used in the Shelby cars. Uh, there's your Shelby ID tag there, and the original VIN number is underneath that. That's what they did with the with the Shelbys. Even has a reproduction battery uh, to look like the original one did. So uh, the only uh, uh, upgrades on this thing is uh, it's got 427 cylinder heads on it. I do have the original 428 heads. They've been redone. They're wrapped in plastic. 
but I, like I mentioned earlier, this car had to be smogged and had an air injection on it back in 1967 in the state of California. So that's been removed because you don't need it now. So, um, you know, it runs a lot better than it would have uh, when it was new. And like I said, they, these had 355 horsepower stock. This one's uh, dyno at 400. So, you know, with a little cu couple upgrades there, it, uh, it made the car run better. We'll go ahead and fire this beast up for you. That's a whole lot of motor in there. You got power disc brakes, you got power steering. So even though it's kind of a muscle car, you know, it's uh, comfortable to drive, actually. Walk around the back, this thing's got a nice little cami sound to it. Yeah, that's a Shelby right there, man. Well, if you want to see this one in person, come out to California Cars. We're at 2158 Union Place in the city of Simi Valley, California. Our phone number here is 818-591-1313. You can speak to myself, Rich, or Gary. It's sitting in there, the lucky dog driving this car. Uh, we'd be happy to show you, the, show you the car in person if you like, or if you have any other questions, just give us a call. We got a lot of information on this one. Thanks for watching.